Henry, mm -hmm. stop drinking. Mm -hmm. No, but what's in the fish? Oh, Come on. It's fish. Oh, really? Chowder. chowder. Well, if I don't like it, I'm just going to yeah, spit it back. Genuine Cabot Cove chowder from Jessica Fletcher's secret recipe. Henry, go ahead. Flo, Amos, this is your favorite. Plenty for everybody, Harold. Love it. All right, just help yourselves. There we go, Flo. This is the kind of stuff you like, Elmo. Wallpaper paste with lumps. Yeah. Tell Kenny to make me another one of these. What's the matter? You got a broken leg? That better not be what I think it is. It's ginger ale and get off my back. <laughs> all right, everybody, enjoy your chowder now. But don't forget to save plenty of room for all the lobsters. Don't worry. Ah, this looks good. Shush. How's everything going? Oh, Elmo seems to be behaving himself. His sister Flo is a pain in the gluteus maximus. Won't even let her husband drink his ginger ale in peace. Hmm. Want me to help you? Yeah, just hold that platter still, will yeah. you, Tommy? Right. <clears throat> now what? <laughs> what happened? It's the fish. They've been poisoned! Seth, are they? It's my considered opinion that they're all asleep. Oh. You'd better open some windows, let in a little fresh air. <laughs> you! Help me get them on their feet. Quickly! All right, Harold, let's go. Wake up, wake up. Pick them up, make them walk. Keep them talking. Oh, walk, you idiot. All right, up you go. One touch in front of the other. That's the girl on your feet. Don't try to make intelligent conversation. Just wake up. That's it. Put one foot in front of the other. That's it. You're doing fine. Jess, I think you'd better send for an ambulance. Tell them to hurry. Oh, understand what happened. One minute we were just sitting, chatting and eating, and suddenly I felt dizzy. And I looked over and Kenny was lying face down on the table. It's all right, Winnie. And Elmo in the ambulance, he looked all pale, like he was hardly breathing. Well, I'm sure that he's going to be all right. You know what I think? I think there's something fishy about that chowder. Chowder? Don't you think it's weird, Amos, that everybody that ate that chowder kind of keeled over, except me, because I didn't eat any. Makes you kind of wonder what was in it. Doc. Doc. How, how is he? Winnie, I am sorry. But there was nothing we could do. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> You mean he died without ever waking up? Near the end, he did open his eyes for a brief period. Did he say anything? Elmo uttered exactly one word. Somebody's name? No. It was an obscenity. <laughs> that sounds like Elmo. Well, what, what caused it, Doc? Oh, we'll have to wait for the autopsy. Jess, I'm afraid we're going to have to analyze your clam chowder. Well, if you don't, I'd insist on it. What are you going to do about it, Sheriff? Someone has just murdered my brother. Just turn down your burners, Someone Flo. who put something in the chowder. Someone who lured her husband to this jerkwater town so that when Elmo ended up dead, the jerkwater sheriff wouldn't do anything about it. That's yeah. enough, Flo. She's right. Shut up, Harold. Now, Winnie wouldn't hurt a soul. You all know that. The fact is that just before dinner, I saw Elmo fighting some stranger in Miss Fletcher's yard. And I told my deputy to put out an APB on him. Hello? If you came to see Amos or Winnie, uh, they aren't here. Oh, my goodness. You look as if you're getting ready to leave. 
Well, there's no reason to stay. We've got a business to run. Oh, yes. Well, with all of you here, you must be very nervous about what's happening at the shop. I mean, with no one in charge. Although I imagine with Elmo's dependency on Barbatols all the time, you must have faced that problem before. What, what are you talking about? Chemical dependency, Harold. I'm amazed that as a pharmacist, you didn't recognize it, but uh, then maybe you did. You're guessing. I don't think so. Winnie's description of Elmo's wild swings of mood, it all makes sense. Come on inside. I need something cold to drink. Well, do you want to know about Elmo or don't you? For years, it was booze. Elmo said he started when he was 11, sneaking moonshine out of his daddy's basement. <laughs> Probably took drugs, too. That Elmo, he was great at escape. Kept putting things into his body to make himself forget. Forget what? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that he was Elmo Banner. Who knows? Could be he even wanted to quit, although he never showed any signs. Oh, after a while, we just stopped paying attention. Figured sooner or later he'd end up killing himself. Ah, uh -huh. the golden dragon. It's my own invention. Tangerine juice, perno, and a little gin. Actually, it should be in a tall glass, but that's all Amos had. Uh, my goodness, the glass. Something wrong with it? That's a good question. What about the glass, Miss Fletcher? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Well, now it can't be nothing. Now, what's the matter, ma'am? You remember something? Yes. I left some cookies baking in the oven. They're going to be burned to a crisp. Excuse me. The cookies will keep. Kenny, what are you doing? I think he's holding me here against my will, Harold. Kenny, let the lady go. Oh, shut up, Harold. Now, Miss Fletcher here just remembered something. But it wasn't the cookies, was it, ma'am? I would like to leave right now, Harold. Well, sure, right away. Kenny, what's the matter with We can't let her go, Harold. Now, you and me are family. We're going to have to stick together on this. On what? What the hell are you talking about? The glass. I know it was dumb of me. With all the commotion going on in the room, I didn't think anybody would notice. Miss Fletcher, what's he talking about? Murder, Harold. Elmo's murder. Do you remember what happened when I asked for a volunteer bartender and Flo volunteered you? Your first customer was Kenny, and he ordered a double bourbon on the rocks. Now, there were plenty of tall glasses on the tray, but you chose a shorter glass. Well, sure. Short glasses are for on the rocks drinks. Everybody knows that. Later, Seth was in the dining room. He saw Kenny drinking something. He said that it was ginger ale. Right. Except it was in a tall glass. I didn't serve you that. Right, Harold. I got it myself. What happened to your bourbon on the rocks? I believe that he gave it to Elmo after he had doctored it with some of Elmo's crushed phenobarbital. He also put some of it into my chowder. Oh, don't give me that pious look, Harold. You ought to thank me. Everybody ought to thank me. Elmo was always doped up all the time. He didn't know if he was coming or going. And he was destroying the business. Somebody had to save it. Are you crazy? Yeah, crazy enough to know the company's mine now. If you want to keep on working, you get out there and pack up that car. You leave her to me. Go on out there now, Harold. OK, who owns the vehicle legally parked next to the fire plug? Drop it, turkey. in two days, I I'm starting to like this job. <laughs> <laughs>